Mei Mei! Hello from Japan! We're still in Hakone, but today we decided to take a day trip to Kawaguchiko. To get there, we took a regular coach and then we got onto a retro bus, which is so named because the bus is, well, retro. Kawaguchiko means lake at the mouth of the river, and it was really lovely walking along the shoreline, although there seemed to be something missing. Ah yes, that's much better. The kids and I had a picnic lunch at the Ichiku Kubota Museum. This is a museum displaying the spectacular work of Mr. Kubota, who devoted his life to reviving a long-lost tie-dyeing method. Mr. Kubota was never able to recreate the original traditional dyeing method, so he developed his own form, which joined both contemporary fabrics and dyes, with traditional decorative techniques. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking in a whisper, it's because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be taking videos in here. Anyway, the hand-painted and embroidered kimonos here are all part of Mr. Kubota's incomplete magnum opus, The Symphony of Light. Each kimono is designed to be uh, an atmospheric painting of a certain season, but when you line them up, you can see that they are part of a huge landscape. I can't imagine the amount of planning that went into the composition of each kimono. <coughs> when, when I come to think of it, the amount of thoughtfulness that goes into the making of a Kubota kimono is kind of reflecting of, of the thoughtfulness that goes into civic planning in Japan. Let's take for example the transport system. Whether it be a bus or a train, when you get on, quite often the first thing you will see are signs telling you that the seats can be converted to accommodate wheelchairs, and maybe another sign telling you that these seats are reserved for the convenience of the elderly, pregnant ladies, infirm, the very young. At train stations and departmental stores, the toilets are not only equipped with change tables for small children, but also with large changing surfaces for the infirm. Additionally, these facilities are available in the male toilets as well as the female toilets, because fathers and sons can be caregivers too, you know. You can really tell that in this society, they treasure every single person, from the very young to the very old and everyone in between. Just like in the kimonos, where the old and the new are woven together to make a beautiful work of art, everyone in society is an important and precious part of a complete whole, and we should remember that. Talk to you soon, Debbie.